worried a kid was drowning or worried a kid was being devoured by a pelipper. Maybe both. Maybe being drowned by the pelipper before being devoured. And here I am, back on Route 103, blissfully bobbing on the waves in my Pelipper's bill. I just have to be kind of curled up into a ball, but I can fit in there. It works. It also frightens people. Like, frightens the shit out of them when they see a Pelipper swim by with a small child's head popping out of its bill. They assume it's devouring the child. Oh shit. Is this a double battle? It is. No problem. I've got my strongest Pokemon out. Bullet seed the Meryl. And, um, wing attack the Tentacle. Level 15. Amateurs. Bam! Bullet seed. Take that. Two times. All I needed. Nice to take them out at the same time. Saves time to take them out simultaneously in a double battle. What's good going? You got destroyed. Good going for me. Yeah, you'd want to ride in this bill too. It's very comfortable inside. Safe from the elements. You should be sorry. Okay, so I've just crossed this little channel. Tonight is a very special night because it's the first episode. Tonight is the first episode in which I have a surf and the ability to use it. So now, the vast waterways of Hoenn are my oyster. Look at all this water to explore. It's one of the most brilliant things about this game. Tons of places both on land and water. So I'm going to start by crossing this little channel. This guy's really twitchy. He is frustrated in me, and I can tell by how he's pacing. <sighs> Magic Herb. Jeez. I should have just had whacked us out front such weak opponents here. Like, I hope the level goes up with some of these trainers. This is just pathetic. Mm, tentacle. Let Big Snake have this one. Just bait it. Mm, tasty jellyfish. Another magic herb. Unbelievable. I, w 
has tackle. Wow. So impressed. You just calm down. You just calm down now, Andrew. Be still. Jump in the water. It is useful, you weirdo. Thought I remembered. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. Never mind. Thought I remember there being a fisherman who gives you a good rod there. Maybe not. Maybe a different game. I don't know. Similar place. Poke fan and irresponsible father, Miguel. Who takes his children to work in his Pokemon battles. Your skitty will be rock smashed to teach you a lesson. That's for your poor parenting. You can do better, Miguel, and your kid deserves better. Sorry to be heavy, but come on, Miguel. Get it together. You know you shouldn't be doing this. No, you're just like Wally's uncle. You just want me to babysit your little shit, and I don't want that. All of you are the same. Irresponsible. Irresponsible adults who don't want to look after their dependents. It's kind of tragic. Owen has real world problems, you know. In case this is a double battle, let's put someone else at the top here. Obviously it is. Just bullet seed. Ooh, I can burn them. Good. They're failed science experience, uh, experiments. So, best, best to put them out of their misery. It really is best. It's tragic, but you know, ultimately most humane. Oh, who are you helping? Your friend is dead. It's over. Give up. There's no one to help. And no one to help you. No one to save you from Big Snake's flame. Big Snake baked ya. No, you won't. I'm not expecting much. Not perfectly. Definitely not perfectly. You try to help. You, you tried to help a dead Pokemon. They call that perfect. Stupid kids. Uh oh. Stoner lady. Hmm. 
Another dank aroma lady. Dank aroma lady Daisy. Faint attack at Shroom. Or Shroom. Good. Level 35. You have no chance. Let's go ahead and um, let's do a little burning action on one of these grass tapes. So awesome. So awesome having a venomous snake that paralyzes you by staring at you and breathes fire. So cool. Well done. You cannot lead us astray. Oh, that's informative. Just that old rod. Sucks. You know what? That totally wasn't the place I was thinking it was. Um, I know, I know where to go. I wasn't paying attention to where I was on the map. I think I know where the guy with the good rod is. Like, there's another place east of Marville with a little channel to cross. And my mind, like, confused the two, misconstrued the two. For some reason. So I crossed that channel. Uh. It was a nice little battle detour, though. Nice little battles there. That's why the trainers were so weak, though. It wasn't where I thought I was. A wingle. Maybe I just should have took Cycling Road. Oh, look! It's Watson! I forgot he has an errand for you to do. Well, I think I better do that. I totally forgot about it. I probably should do it, though. I could do it this episode or save it for, like, the next episode. We'll see. Anyway, here's where I was thinking I was. And that's the guy. I'm pretty sure he was a good rod. Can't talk to him while I'm in the beak. He must be terrified. Let's get out and show him I'm not being devoured. I would agree. I mean, by definition, if it's a good rod, then it's good. Yeah, makes sense. He's smart. Definitely wouldn't be a marketing scam. They wouldn't just call it a good rod. Like, there wouldn't be a branding thing just to, to mislead people. No way. People have values in Hoenn. Maybe you get a... Maybe you get a good rod in Unova. That shit will be less reliable. Okay. Very good. I'm going to register this good rod. Look at that. Same TV agency. 
See, this stick is even stronger now. It can give you an even more dire warning for the world this time. Oh look, iron. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my good rod in here because I think there could be something lurking in these waters. Something that I wish to add to my Pokemon team. And I have my Pokemon that can paralyze out too. Time for some good old fishing. I have fished in my life. Quite a few times, actually. In the waters of Alaska, where I'm from. Exclusively. Magic Herb. Not interested. Go back. It's kind of cool that they made fishing more involved in Generation 3. It's a little bit of a pain. You have to press the button to bite the fish and bring it in, but it's also a little more realistic and immersive. So, as a hardcore gamer, I appreciate that. This is it. This is what I've been looking for. Carvana. A male. Okay. I'm gonna catch this Carvana. I mean, I already caught it with my good rod, but, you know, by fishing, but. I'm gonna catch it in the Pokemon way with a Pokeball too. Just bite it. You know, just nibble it a bit. Not too much. Just a little. Oh, that's rough skin ability. I forgot about that. I thought because bite is a dark move and dark is a special type that wouldn't cause rough skin to take effect maybe I'm mistaken in some way I'm afraid of killing it so so I'm gonna go ahead and lob pokeballs now since I have 24 of them Phones and lights around me. I can't get too animated with my Pokemon catching gestures. That's why it looks so stupid when I flail about. Savage Pokemon. Carvana attack ships in swarms, making them sick. Although it is said to be a very vicious Pokemon. It timidly flees as soon as it finds itself alone. Oh. Oh. That last bit is kind of just sad. Man. Okay. Forget that. It's it's a badass fish. It's a badass... Rana. Basically. And I have a name for it. name is reflective of this Carvana's backstory, which I can explain. Also just short and sweet and rolls off the tongue and it's a good name, I think. Sinfin. This is Sinfin. Let's see a bit more about it. It's jolly. You know, it's happy. Look at it bounce around. I see that. 
It looks very jolly. And it hurts to touch. Crunch. That's a strong dark move for a dark type. Very good. A fifth team member has been added. And I gotta rush back to a Pokemon Center and heal it right away. Can't believe it's level 24. It's actually. It out levels. Wactus. Or at least the level Wactus was when I got it. It was like level 20. Oh boy. I'm excited. Carvana is another one of those Pokemon. I always wanted to train, but never just just never did. Never got to experience a Sharpedo until now. Okay. So I can go back across there. Reporters are there again. I have to see them at some point. Battle them and broadcast another message to all of Hoen. Eventually get to Fortree. But I'm going to do something totally different and unexpected now. I'm going to travel and recreate the same sea voyage that Mr. Briny took us on by boat to Duford and then to Slateport. Only this time, I'm going to stop and smell the roses, so to speak. Quickest way there... Quickest way there is probably going to be via Bird and Turf, I think. Yeah, let's just go that way. I can get there speedily on a muckbig. I'll try not to hit too many things. Look at that speed. Ah, oh, hit that guy. He's injured now. That guy's hit too. Oop, sorry. <laughs> I'm glad my mock bike is fast so that I can ride away before they identify me. <laughs> they don't even know what hit them. There we go. Damn it. Hit a wild Pokemon. Rain over a Wismer. Many times when I've played through this game, at this point I would not use my surf abilities to re trick. A path already tread, you know, on the water. But I'm gonna do it this time, because the experience is valuable. What's this guy want? Getting an update. I didn't expect to see him here. Ha. Ah, he's poetic. He's clever with words. I like that. Ooh, wow. Giving me a Pokeball. Special Pokeball. I'm never going to use it. It's not going to be necessary. Oh, you can buy it. So this is a sample to get me hooked. I understand. Want me to repeat buying the repeat ball after I try the first one? I get it.
It'll be pretty much clear after this grass. And this route. So I'm excited. So excited to fight all the trainers that are floating out in the sea. And also, there's an abandoned ship on the route. An abandoned direct ship, and I'm gonna enjoy exploring that. We're good. We're ready. Hmm. Let's just put Cedar Stick back in front. Downhill biking, extreme biking, doing jumps. Oh, I lost control there. Almost hit her. Ran over another Pokemon. This time it's a Pushiana. Got here quick though. And now. Get off the bike. I can't. I can't set out from the dock. I have to do it. I have to launch from the beach. Launch my Pelipper boat from the beach. There we go. Setting sail. Jumping into its bill. Curling up into the fetal position to fit. Aha! I'm not sure how strong people are here. So let's lead with a strong Pokemon. So cool how there are unique themes for various trainer types. With a Meryl, level 26. Fighting on the water now. Luckily, wood floats. Sedistic floats. It's a floating battleship, firing bullet seed. At this Meryl. Critical hit. Destroyed. Sure did. You want to be totally relaxing to be with Giggle? Did she actually literally giggle or did she actually say, just say giggle? It's weird either way. this. Oh, it's a wingle. A wingle is harassing Pelipper. Bad, or a, a Nuzleaf. Bad idea. I can shoot you down with bullet seed from the sky. Water poison is slightly tricky as a type combo, or grass type, unless I have my own dual type. No, oh, not confusion.
Good. I'm realizing I could divide experience in a different way here. That might be better. Here. Take that. Give it to Sinfin. And then, let Wactus take charge. The junior grass type. Let my second less experienced grass type grow stronger. Uh oh. Shit. <laughs> well that backfired. I guess I shouldn't have done that. I must take vengeance on this insolent wingle. The nerve it displays. And now it growls. This fucking wingle has attitude. Shoot it down. It's not good enough. It's not good enough to just run away from it. It has to pay. For its infraction. You must learn, Wingle. F around and find out, Wingle. <sighs> Can't believe that. So it's a little dangerous to leave Wactus in the front because it's slow. So. Go like that for now. Maybe right until I um, right until the moment I find a trainer to fight. What type is he gonna use? Let's just try it. Surprise! Mystical Rock. I think I do actually. I think I checked out what he's talking about in Sapphire recently. Sandrew. Good matchup. Still Leech Seed. Don't just rely on Absorb, because that's a weak move. Uh oh. Shit. Could be problematic if that poisons me. How many antidotes did I pack? I got two. <sighs> I don't want to burn through antidotes. <laughs> I'm paranoid about getting poisoned, and that's why it's good to have a poison type you can just put in. I know it's ground type, but I don't think it has many ground moves. If any, maybe it can dig, I don't know. Heh. Futile. Kinda cool we get to take a little break from surfing and fight on land on this little island. Sand slash. Let's not mess around anymore. That's getting stronger.
give it the bullet seed. Three, four, five hits. You're out of here. Very good. I mean, he shouldn't be too hard on himself. He didn't do too bad. He was just up against Booger. And there's no hope against Booger. None at all. So that's the little island. What's over here? I just gotta see. that. Two trainers on one side of this little island that is totally divided in half by impassable trees. How did they get over there? Do they both have surfing or flying Pokemon? Actually, you need surfing Pokemon. Oh. I'll bet they're gonna both ambush me no matter where I step onto land here. That's devious. This is a double battle trap. 100%. I don't mess around in double battles. But I have some strong Pokemon. Get out of here, Winkle. I'm trying to go ashore. You're suspicious of the sea? Okay. That's not a good thing to say for someone who's been on this little island for who knows how long. He's probably losing it. So he swam here? Ruin Maniac and a Bird Keeper. They each have two Pokemon. This is quite the ambush. Uh, one of them has a Taylor. Taylor, the Terror of the Skies. As it's often called. Um, Bullet Seed. Bullet seed? Oh no, don't bullet seed your friend. Bullet seed the same true. Burn the Taylor. Just just burn it. Finn getting a little experience. Another one. Flamethrower has a very satisfying sound effect to it. That flame whoosh. It sounds like a flamethrower. The wingle. Poison tail on it. Big snake's versatile. Versatile. I think I've said that word both ways actually in my life. Versatile is quicker. Well, they weren't too threatening. Hmm. 
Eek Snake's learning crunch. Hmm. Oh, well obviously we're gonna replace Bite with Crunch. It's just stronger. The flinching chance of the Bite is it's only draw and it seems to not do that very often. I'd rather just have a stronger move. It's more reliable. Bake Snake has quite a deadly arsenal of moves. Yeah, he should be tough on himself. These two are not impressive. No, you did that. You just registered yourself in my token app. You psycho who's suspicious of the sea. Someone who's suspicious of the sea now has my phone number, basically. That's... I don't like that. Hmm. I'm gonna have to... Dis differ in my opinion, my preferences. I prefer sea over sky. You can fall from the sky, and people can't fly, and they can die if they fall from high in the sky. Worried a kid was drowning, or worried a kid was being devoured by a Pelipper? Maybe both. Maybe being drowned by the Pelipper before being devoured? Like it just dunks me into the water in its beak? I could see that. I hope, Pel I hope Pelican doesn't get any ideas. It could just, like, kill me and be free of bondage to this dumb little kid trainer. You know, I don't actually know what it's thinking behind those goofy, vacant-looking eyes that never change. It's a little unsettling. It's a little uncanny. Glub glub indeed. It is? Is that true? I have no idea if he's bullshitting me or not. He could be full of crap. Shouldn't have gone ashore there. It's obviously nothing there. Unless there's a hidden item. Iron. Aha, uh -huh, new route. Up to 106. I'm gonna give Wactus a shot. As long as he doesn't have a tentacle to be able to handle what he sends out. Fuck, a tentacle, damn it. It's the one thing I didn't want you to have. Uh... Okay, back to Big Snake. Just want to avoid any chance of poisoning. I think these things can learn poison sting. Crunch it. Even though you'd really be more like squishing jellyfish if you tried to like crunch on it you know 
there wouldn't be much crunching, it would be more just squish. Maybe just new acid. Another one. Just keep it in. It's a really good time to take this detour in the ocean because my Pokemon team is suddenly expanding quite a bit. Went from having two strong Pokemon to now having five Pokemon total. And the ones I've recently caught are definitely quite behind, so they need to get some more experience on this route, if possible. R route, route, whatever you prefer. Well, it wasn't a swim race, it was a Pokemon battle. And you lost. What's this? gonna take it easy, huh? I'll show you who needs to be worried worried about one of us taking it easy. Good. Whack this. We'll whack this Whalmer. I'm sure. You can't water gun whack this. Who do you think you are? Your whale mirror will be drained of its life force. I'm just gonna be a jerk and pick up beach sand from the beach behind me. That's, that's what that was. That's how that was possible. It looks like we're at sea, but there's a beach just behind us. Picked up and just you know, used some beach sand. A little damp, a little damp, but it works. Astonish. You have no hope. Whirlpool? What are you trying to pull? Trapping Wactus in a whirlpool. Whalemur using whirlpool on Wactus. You trying to make this alliteration more excessive? Well, we win. <laughs> I need to stop. Ingrain. I'm familiar with this. You know, I don't like that it causes you to not be able to switch. That's why I prefer Leech Seed. The difference between Leech Seed and Ingrain is Ingrain roots you in the ground. Leech Seed roots you in your foe. You know, put down roots in your enemy. And have those roots sap it of its strength. That's way, that's way more brutal. Leech Seed, the old school generation one move. One of my favorite moves ever. No, we didn't take it easy. I mean, I did use a low level Pokemon, so I guess I did. 
but I told that low-level Pokemon to have no mercy. To throw sand in your Pokemon's eyes to ensure it lost by any means necessary, because we will win, no matter what it takes. Speaking of which, I should probably explain Sinfen. You know, we've had a little time to get to know it. As we surfed across the ocean, it was swimming along behind us, occasionally doing things that just kind of are tipping us off of the baddest behavior patterns. We've learned, we've seen some things. It's called Sinfin because this Carvana has no moral compass, okay? You might think, oh, Seedustic probably has no moral compass. This thing's on another level. This thing does not give a shit. It will do anything it wants. Anything. No moral compass. Any urge it has, any desire it has, acts on it immediately. It's it's a sin fin. Oh, I should rest at the Pokemon Center before I set sail from Duford. It's like the Pokemon on my team, Sinfin. It's like the Pokemon that carries out the dirtiest deeds that we need done. If Sedistic needs something unspeakable done upon some enemy, it calls upon uh, Sinfin. Because Sedistic's like a senior Pokemon in my party. It's kind of like the leader, sort of. Take a look at the map. Navigate a little bit while in that ocean, hit on the ocean. Alright. The ship I'm looking for is not marked. I know it's here somewhere. It's not marked on any map, this is shipwreck. I wonder what kind of ship it was. Duh, I know a little town called Duford. I just came from there. Wattus doesn't like Wingles. They must be shot out of the sky. Do your worst. Do your worst, Wingo. You're getting shot down. Missed. No use. You had no chance. Goldine, doesn't matter. No chance. Um, uh, these things can no peck. So they're annoyingly dangerous to grass types, actually. Uh oh. That move is like at its strongest, I think, when you're low health. But I had a strong Pokemon in to take that. Wheeling a fish 
basically just like freaking out and slapping me with its fins and its death throes. That's what that was. Tried to slap Sadistic to death. Just thrashing around with its fins, you know. Weird saying. Is she talking about disappointed better? It's not weird. It's not weird, it's philosophical. But it's good advice for your life. Be disappointed better, Denise. That's all I'm gonna say to you. You you should get you should catch on to the trend. It's a, it's a good thing. Damn Denise. You notice she didn't want to go into my Pokenav. She knows I'm the one who started that saying. She knows. She knows and she was saying that comment passive aggressively. I know your games, Denise. Oh, I forgot. Minute trainer battle. Oh no. You're gonna crunch a cactus? Holy shit. If I want to let, I don't know if I want to let Wactus keep getting crunched here. Took out almost half its HP, so like critical hit would kill it. So your Carvana and my Carvana will get a little experience. See, Tony got me. See. Tony wanted my Pokenav contact, Denise. Look at her over there. Look at her over there just staring over here. He likes to be disappointed better. You should too. Okay, let's move on. Forget about them. Uh huh. Ooh. My grass types are getting a little tired. Go ahead and super potion. I wonder if they'll both have water types. Well, Sedistic is strong, so it should be fine. I'm going to lead with them. This battle will be a training exercise for... Wactus to see how it's done. See, Distic will show at the ropes. Show it how to kill. With efficiency. You got the two water Pokemon I'm a little worried about against grass types. But not too worried. Not too worried. I'm gonna leech seed. The Goldine. Uh, the, the Goldine. Yes, leech seed the Goldine. And paint attack. Tentacle. Oh, 
horn attack. Okay. Not too bad. Faint attack probably won't kill it. Let's see if a bullet seed gets lucky and hits five times or something. Ugh. That's probably not going to work. Oh, critical hit. Critical hit will help. Two critical hits. Wow. It's critical hit ratio in that bullet seed barrage was 50%. Over four hits. That's amazing, Cedar Stick. You're amazing. I love you. I love you, Cedar Stick. You're the best. I have to boost its confidence so it can exact its vengeance without any doubt. I don't want it having self doubt, you know? I don't want. I don't want my Nizzleaf to do with that kind of shit. Well, this is going alright. See, so just took a showing Wactus how you kill without mercy. Nice. They bonded a bit. You noticed our level too late. And now you're floating in the sea with dead Pokemon. And I don't have a lot of hope for these two, honestly. I think they're goners. Pokemon. Slept while in the waves? Is that even possible without drowning? Especially in the open ocean. What if our Sharpedo comes and just gnaws on you while you're sleeping? Bites a limb off. What if a tentacle or tentacle comes and stings you? I wouldn't do that. We're squishing. It does no poison sting. I was right. I was right to be worried. My caution paid off. That poison sting did not hit a non poison Pokemon it could have poisoned. We know what to do to a Wingle. Pathetic water gun. You could have at least used a wing attack. Shot down. You won't go just shot down. Was shot down and crashed into the waves. And now you can't even recall it because it's beneath the sea, sinking to the bottom of the ocean. His wingle's dead. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. Faint his jellyfish with a faint attack. I'm 
I'm so glad Sea Dustic is becoming so powerful. It makes me so proud. So proud to see it grow so strong. Like a sapling maturing into a big strong tree. A big strong tree that wants to destroy everything. All other life. Well, not, not all other life. It just wants vengeance against humans. That's its backstory. For the tree which it fell from was felled by a lumberjack. And now Sedistic shall inflict a fell fate upon all of humanity. They'll see. They'll know what they've done, and not to ever do that to a poor little seed out again. What the hell are they doing? Are they drowning? Are they are they drowning? This might be a double battle opportunity. Let's do it. If they do attack me, they could still just be drowning. I'll go between them and nothing will happen, and if that if nothing happens, I'll know they're drowning. Okay, they're not drowning. At least this one isn't. Okay, they're both not drowning. Oh, star you in gold in. Gen 1 water types. I like this matchup. Leech Seed, the Star You, Bullet Seed, the Goldine. Use various seed techniques. Do I have every move in the game that has seed in the name of it? It's Camouflage Failed. Camouflage is a new Gen 3 move for Staryu. I don't know what it does. Actually, it's an obscure move. We're winning. I kind of like how you have the option when you see two people who are obviously doing a double battle, going to do a double battle. Sometimes you have the option, depending on the circumstances of where they're standing and where you have to approach them from. You can like take them on individually or at once in a double battle. I like that. What do you say? Are you going to be okay? Why are you asking me? I don't know. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you're doing. I mean, I guess triathlete trading? I don't care, dude. Pokemon. I only care about dominating in Pokemon battles. I can run from this. Not that slow. You forget all your worries, do you? 
I'm about to give you a new worry, Missy. You're about to get significantly worried because you're up against Wactus. Excellent. It's just such a comfort to use Leech Seed and know you're gonna get HP drained from your opponent to heal yourself all about along. You really can be a big difference maker in a lot of battles. Awesome. Wactus is growing up. Good advice. She advises exercise for dealing with stress. That's totally true. Totally true advice. Um, truth based advice, I'll say. Exercise is good for stress relief. He knows. How did you know where I was going? How do you know I'm going to the abandoned ship, Matthew? Who are you? Did Stone send you? Where's Stone? He's lurking in the waves, isn't he? I know he's here. I know... I know Stone sent you, Matthew. What does he want? What task is to be completed by Booger? Hmm, Carvana? Could crunch, could crunch Wactus. I don't like that. I'd rather bullet seed it. Surely I can't be that far away from this abandoned ship. This guy's talking about it. Must be nearby. That's probably why he's bringing it up. Good. Sink, Matthew. Sink below the waves where Stone dwells. I know Mr. Stone is down there lurking, watching in a submarine or something. He's a rich, rich owner of Devon, Devon, whatever it's called. You know he has, like, high-tech submarines and shit. He can do whatever he wants. Money is no object. Advanced technology. That's what's so frightening. He could be anywhere, always watching. In the sea or sky. Oh, damn it. Am I getting killed by a wild tentacle? You'll pay for your insolence. You will pay. Oh fuck. It's got whacked us trapped. You fucking asshole tentacle, how dare you? How dare you do this? Hang on. 34, 61, leech seed it. 34 out of 61, I can last a little bit. Stick it out. Turn this battle around. At least until you're released from rap. Oh no. Oh no. Fuck you, you tentacle of fucking asshole. 
Look at it. Look at that smug fucking tentacle piece of shit. I'm going to punish you. Killing Wactus. I'm gonna punish you. You deserve death. Death at the hands of another grass type. You will regret this, Tentacle, before the end. Feel Sadistic's Wrath. Fucking level 35 tentacle floating in the water, can you believe this? That's like, almost higher level than any of my Pokemon. It matches my strongest Pokemon. Where did this thing come from? Just a monster tentacle. Monster rogue tentacle. I can't believe that. I could use a revival herb. It's the abandoned ship. Get out of your tentacle. I'm so done with you. Finally, finally reached the abandoned ship. And this episode's going a little long, so I should probably just take a rest, take some repose on this little wrecked ship site. Maybe I'll heal up practice with a revival herb. further down the line here. Unbelievable. Not even a trainer's... Or not even a trainer's Pokemon... Yeah, not even a trainer's Pokemon killed it. A wild... Wild tentacle. That wild tentacle was way stronger than any of the trained Pokemon around here. It's kind of amazing. I gotta get some more of that Revival Herb. That's, that's a good strain. Look at that. Revived all of its HP. I'm gonna have to visit that dispensary again. Okay, I'm gonna save game. And in the next episode, I'm going to explore this abandoned ship. Till then. <laughs>